Welcome friends, in this video let's learn about the effects of acid rain. Acid rain can impact the ecosystem and its components in, a, in an adverse way. Okay, And various components in the ecosystem including soil, vegetation, uh, microorganisms which are present in the soil and flora and fauna that is the plants and animal life, human beings, monuments are, uh, are affected in an adverse way by the acid rain. And various uh, triggering effects are are caused by the acid rain that means the release of various pollutants like mercury aluminum cadmium lead and asbestos into the ecosystem is also resulted due to the acid rain let's look at the impact of acid rain on the components of the ecosystem in detail first let's look at the impact of acid rain on the soil health of the soil okay acid rain uh, increase in the acidity of the soil uh, which are caused due to the acid rain or other means led to the leaching of nutrients like potassium and magnesium from the soil. So the removal of potassium and magnesium from the soil resulting in the infertility of the soil. Okay, And this infertility of the soil resulting in the decrease in the respiration of the organisms because the organisms do not get the uh, sufficient uh, nutrient source for its normal respiration. So then the decrease in the respiration of the organisms led to the increase in the concentration of ammonia in the soil and this decreases the rate of decomposition so decreasing in the rate of decomposition uh, resulting in the reduction in the concentration of humus in the soil humus is the source for the formation of fertile soil okay so reduction in the humus again reduces the fertility of the soil so it also acid rain also decreases the nitrate level in the soil so totally a chain reaction is set in where the soil uh, is going to lose its fertility and also carrying capacity to support other microorganisms as well as the plant life. So totally soil becomes less fertile. This is the impact of acid rain on the soil. Next let's look at the impact of acid rain on vegetation. It leads to the discoloration of the leaves that means the that means the changing from uh, the green leaves to the other color like yellow and red color okay so the photosynthetic pigments present in the leaves uh, that is the green pigments are are destroyed or and removed that means discoloration and also it also lead to the loss of foliage and acid rain more importantly uh, resulting in the loss of feeder roots so feeder roots are the important roots which absorb the uh, nutrients and nutrients and water in a much faster and more effi efficient way than the older roots. So acid rain uh, destroys the feeder roots thereby reducing the productivity of the of the trees as well as the plants. So this is happening in the coniferous trees so this is not good for, for the as far as the plant is concerned and it also led to the senescence of older needles in the conifers. Senescence means the growing old okay of the older leaves that means the death of the older leaves is seen in the conifers and discoloration of the leaves uh, reduces the photosynthetic ability that means the food producing ability of the leaves thereby interfering the interfering in the life cycle of the plant system itself and finally it may in severe, severe cases it may lead to the death of the trees as well now let's look at the impact of acid rain on the microorganisms so the ph of the soil plays an important role uh, in the survival of microorganisms in the soil. Depending on the level of pH of the soil, different kind of microorganisms are going to inhabit the soil. Okay, So if there is optimum neutral pH, then the soil supports more bacteria and protozoa. Okay? If the soil becomes acidic, then the bacteria and protozoa concentration become reduced and fungus population increases in the acidic pH. And in the alkaline pH, we find blue-green bacteria. Okay, so different pH uh, supports different kinds of microorganisms in the soil. So the result of acid rain is that there is a shift from bacteria and protozoa uh, class of microorganisms to the fungal class of microorganisms. So increase in the fungus finally uh, may lead to various diseases which are affecting the plants, like a uh, uh, wilt that is fissurum wilt powdery mildew, downy mildew. So uh, the disease of the plants increases uh, because of the acidity. So the resistance, the ability to resist the diseases uh, will be reduced in case of the plants. So 
it has adversarial effect on the plants as well as microorganisms life in total and let's look at the effect of acid rain on the animals so acid rain interferes interferes in the productivity and survival of the animals in the in, in the forest as well as the ecosystem so it affects the eggs and tadpoles of the frogs and salamanders in the forest ponds so these uh, tadpoles of the frogs are open so if there is more acidity in the water that then that affects the reproductive ability of the frogs okay so it interferes directly uh, into the uh, into the productivity of the uh, aquatic ecosystem as well and acid rain causes the leaching of various metals like aluminum lead and cadmium uh, in the soil so this leaching of these heavy metals and also subsequent runoff of these heavy metals into the nearby water sources affects the aquatic life so aquatic life tend to accumulate these heavy metals that is bioaccumulation and as we know that from the uh, class of food chain uh, these heavy metals goes on accumulating and goes on concentrating in the various food chain and lead to biomagnification and in complicated situations it may lead to the uh, death of the organisms as well so this is the effect of acid rain on the animals next let's look at the acid rain on human beings uh, directly we are affected uh, through irritation of the eyes a skin and inflammation of the respiratory tract okay and also it also led to the uh, various types of cancers like uh, skin cancer and chronic bronchitis pulmonary emphysema and food poisoning poisoning is likely to occur because of the water poisoning because of the leaching of the heavy metals into the water sources so these are the effects of the acid rain on the human beings next the effect of acid rain on monuments and materials so metals get corroded okay corrosion of happening in case of metals and buildings um, uh, develops black crust formation on, on its layer because of the acid rain and ceramic and glasses uh, here the surface erosion happens on the ceramics and glasses and crust formation uh, will be developed and on the paints uh, soiling, soiling will occur the quality of the paints will be reduced and textiles the fading of the textiles and reducing the reducing the uh, lifespan of the textiles is seen and rubber in case of rubber there is cracking is observed so there is adverse effect of acid rain on these material uh, resources of the human beings so this is the you can look at the statue and you can imagine the effect of acid rain on the these materials as well as the human beings and as i mentioned earlier acid rain can trigger various effects on pollutants okay the lower ph which is caused by acid rain and other means releases the mercury which are locked in the which are locked in the soils okay so it increases the partition of methyl mercury into the water column okay so methyl mercury is incorporated in the water column so this is accumulated in the fish methyl mercury is accumulated in the fish then that may lead to the mercury poisoning called minamata disease which happened in the uh, on the coast of japan okay and next is aluminum so acid soils are uh, resulting in the leaching of aluminum okay leaching of aluminum and further runoff of aluminum into the water sources may affect the drinking water the quality of drinking water and poisoning of the water happens and this in severe cases may happen dementia a kind of disease where degeneration of the brain happens uh, where uh, the loss of memory perpetual loss of memory is the result so this is the major uh, disease there is no cure for this and cadmium and cadmium uh, release of cadmium is also observed in case of acid rain and uh, subsequent events it resulting in the kidney failures that is renal tubular damage that is called kidney failure and it also releases the lead into the atmosphere okay lead resulting in the water contamination with lead so uh, we all know that lead is a heavy metal and it is not it is very bad uh, pollutant okay infants are more susceptible because uh, in, infants are more susceptible and mental disorders and neurophysical dysfunctions happens because of the lead and asbestos are released are released from the natural rocks in the acidic environment so these are are contributed to the environment because of the acid rain so this is it about the effects of acid rain please like share and subscribe to the channel please like my facebook page this is the address and link is also given in the description below uh, that is www.facebook.com/upcgenderstudies 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग